Let's write the formula for iodine monofluoride. The first thing we do, we look at the periodic table. Here's iodine. Iodine's a nonmetal. Fluoride, that's from fluorine, that is a nonmetal as well. Two nonmetals is a molecular or covalent compound. And when we have a molecular compound, we need to take prefixes into account when we write the formula. So we have iodine here on the periodic table. Iodine, that's I, and then fluorine, that's F. So we have IF. There's no prefix before the first element here. We don't use a prefix in front of that first element. So nothing written. We assume there's to be one of these iodine atoms. We don't write the one. But for the second one, if we have just one, we call it mono. So we have one fluorine. And again, we don't write the one. So this is kind of interesting. You use the mono with the second element if there's only one of them. But if you only have one of the first, you don't put mono out here. So the formula for iodine monofluoride is IF. If you were given the formula IF and asked to write the name, you know that you have two nonmetals. So you're going to have to use prefixes. In this case, we write iodine because we don't put mono on the first one. And then for the fluoride, we do need to put the one there, monofluoride. This is Dr. B with the formula for iodine monofluoride. Thanks for watching.